Hi, I'm Harrison with the Historic Arkansas Museum, and today we're talking about cyanotypes. It's a photo process developed in the 1840s, and you may have seen it in old blueprints, and it was also used as kind of a cheap proofing process for other photo processes during the time. Today we're going to make a cyanotype uh, with a sun print using some leaves. So what I've got here is a pre-coated piece of paper that's going to be exposed. And this is mixed in an AB solution. So it's two different solutions mixed together in equal proportions and then painted on. You let it dry. What I'm doing here is going to get my leaves situated. that and we're gonna go expose it all right we found a little patch of Sun so we're gonna expose our cyanotype for anywhere between eight and ten minutes and as the light hits it it's going to strike the solution and change the salts the iron salts and what's not hit by the light is gonna wash away. So we're gonna let this expose and then we'll come back to it. All right, so this is exposed for about 12 minutes now and we're gonna cover it up and go inside and wash it off, finish up the process. Okay, so now we're gonna start the washing process. And once I take it apart, you'll be able to kind of see what has done with the lights. So the leaves have not been exposed and we're gonna wash out that cyanotype process there. We wanna make sure that the paper is completely saturated and so we want to get all of the yellow cyanotype chemicals out. That way, once it dries, the leftover chemicals don't expose. Okay, so this next stop is a little optional. It's gonna oxidize the cyanotype iron salts. Um, this will nat happen naturally over time anyways, but this goes ahead and speeds up the process. And this is just a water bath with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. Here we go. I'll wash off the hydrogen peroxide. And now we're gonna let this dry. So we just did a print with blackberry leaves and now we're going to do one with an actual photograph. And what I have here is a photograph printed on transparency as a negative. And when we expose it to light, this is going to become a positive photograph. So I have my unexposed paper here. I'm going to overlay my negative. To clamp it in place, and now we're going to go expose it. Okay, we found a sunny spot again, and we're going to expose this for probably about 10 minutes or so. Okay, this is exposed for about 10 minutes, and so we're going to cover it up so it stops, and we're gonna go wash it. And the washing process is necessary because it washes out all of the unexposed cyanotype chemicals, which will leave us with our positive image.
and now we're gonna let this dry. So here are our finished prints. They've been washed, they've been dried, and they're fairly stable now. Um, this process can also be done on cloth. This is 100% cotton cloth. It's a little bit more tricky, but uh, the same process applies to it. Thanks for watching and come see us at the museum when you get a chance.